here we have a MacBook Pro, circa date puts it at about 2009-2010. Um, initially, when the customer brought it in to us, basically is non-responsive whatsoever. It sits at the Apple um, logo screen and it just pinwheels. A uh, little history on the device is um, approximately about three to four months ago, the customer had a uh, third-party remote utility installed by their business. And basically that software allowed them to access email and applications. All they saw was just decreased performance up until now where it just freezes at the Apple logo. And here at Age of Solutions, we support all Mac OS and iOS devices. Um, we do hardware repairs um, for iPad, iPod Touches, and iPhones. And um, we do see a lot of these um, particular issues um, come into the store. Um, in particular to this model, obviously the hard drive just could have been just going bad. It could be just coincidence, um, hard drive is failing, um, and it just needs to be replaced. Uh, we'll do a thorough diagnostics. We'll check all the hardware components, um, memory, processor, um, and the hard drive. And um, our history with the MacBooks is that there's a uh, ribbon cable, basically, that connects the hard drive to the motherboard, the SATA cable, that basically just wears. Now, there's no physical wear, um, but it just stops performing, and we replace that cable and everything is just fine. So, again, we'll, uh, we'll go through the diagnostics process, and um, hopefully this will be an easy fix for us. Okay, you just... Um, Flip the MacBook over, pull off the back cover so you can have access to the hard drive. Um, normally, I would just boot the machine um, into, you know, max equivalent safe mode. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and pull the hard drive out, stick it in our diagnostics machine, and we'll just test the hard drive independent of the, um, um, of the, uh, of the other components in the MacBook. Um, these things are really simple to work on. You remove one screw and this locking clip. Um, comes right out. May be able just to lift the hard drive out, and we do. And we're just going to separate it from the SATA connection. Okay, just wanted to show you all this. So basically, uh, this MacBook basically has a Allen star head type screws to hold them in place. Um, I typically use a 2.5 inch hot swap bay so I can just plug these right in my diagnostics machine. Um, but I have to remove these screws in order to do that and none of my keys actually fit. So what I'm going to have to do is basically <clears throat> use this external unit. Basically, it allows me to connect drives. Um, I can go from um, IDE 3.5 or 2.5, um, and as well as SATA connections. So basically, I just connect my SATA port here. <clears throat> it goes into my drive. And then I need power. So here I have a um, Molex to SATA power connector port. Plug that in, and then my power source goes here. And basically, I can just stick the USB side into my PC, and it allows me to use an external drive. Okay. So completed the diagnostics, hardware diagnostics, and it turns out that the hard drive has basically failed. Um, we're hearing a clicking sound. <clears throat> Um, the device does power on, but it sounds like the read, read write arm is basically getting stuck. Um, we've seen on the web some places where guys just start tapping the drive because uh, there's nothing really to lose um, if they damage it even further. Uh, we typically don't do that um, because it leaves op options for the customer. You know, if they want to proceed with um, <clears throat> further attempts at either trying to recover data from the drive, we don't want to inflict more damage on the disk. So it kind of pays to do a hardware diagnostics. Customer thought it might have been software based. Um, we do get a lot of machines where evident the, the device has a virus on it, but we still put it through the hardware diagnostics because you never know what you, could, what you might find. So um, basically we're going to wrap this up Options for the customer is if they want to send off the drive, if they have very important data on it, which 
I doubt. 90% of the time, customers don't. Um, it's important to them, but not enough where they're going to spend an extra 500 to $2,000 from a professional company to retrieve the information. So that's one option. The second option, obviously, we can just replace the hard drive, reload the operating system, and they'll have a device that's in good working order. And a lesson to be learned from that is just always take backups. Um, if I didn't state it before, um, the customer does not have any recent backups. And they stated there's a lot of pictures that were on this drive. So we're going to basically just close out this, um, this issue. And we'll see you again next time.